Hey, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com and it's time, the April release of Adobe Audition version 11.1 and Premiere Pro version 12.1. In this video, I will talk you through the new features and how audio is getting a little closer to video with every release. Okay, let's find out what's new in the April 2018 update of Adobe Audition version 11.1. Here we are, uh, as expected, inside Adobe Audition, and the first thing I'm going to do is bring this window down because I have a Premiere Pro project. That's right, a video project I have been working on in Premiere Pro. Now, we know that in the past you've been able to use Dynamic Link to go back and forth between Premiere and Audition uh, to do your video and audio editing. But now, watch this. Wow, a new dialog box, and as you can see, I've been working on multiple sequences here, and I can pick a sequence that I've been working on in Premiere Pro, click OK, and it will import everything natively from Premiere straight in to the multi-track of Adobe Audition. So direct linking between Audition and Premiere uh, now integrated. These are the audio files from the Premiere uh, video and audio themselves. No rendering or dynamic linking. The only dynamic link is the integration here with the video from Premiere, but everything else now is native, making it easier to edit an audition and hop back over to Premiere and get your audio back and involved. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, here's another improvement in version 11.1 of Adobe Audition. Click the uh, zoom here, this zoom out full all axes button, and boom, it zooms perfectly in window view. Before it would do like crazy things like this <laughs> or this, um, but now zoom out full axes and you get a beautiful view of the project you're working on. So there we go. And I can I can make edits now. I can cut wherever I like. I can fade audio. I can add effects on in the effects rack. And then I can save this Premiere Pro project. Notice it's a .prproj file, which is a Premiere Pro project file. Uh, and once I save it, I can then hop back over to Premiere Pro and all of my audio edits will be retained. So Fantastic new integration in 11.1 of Adobe Audition with Premiere Pro version 12.1. Uh, other things I really want to show you include fantastic new tracks panel in Adobe Audition. And to show you this, I'm going to load in my Adobe Audition presets here. So loading that in as a session file. These are available, by the way, if you'd like to use them yourself on audio production. These are the exact presets I use. Just go to mrc.fm slash presets. And as you can see... There are a lot of um, tracks here for different vocal effects that I have, different music tracks, sound effects tracks. You can get quite lost in here, particularly if you start getting lots of audio files uh, involved in the project. You can get really lost and maybe you want to match a voice you've got up here with a music track down here. Well, introducing the tracks panel. This is fantastic. I'm going to open this up. You can have it floating. And this is a visual representation of all the tracks you've got open in Audition. I can I can go, I can choose to dock this, say, over here like that and just move that over. So I've just got my tracks panel over there now. And uh, similar to uh, Adobe software like Photoshop where you can show and hide layers, you can do the same now with tracks in Adobe Audition. Notice as I'm crossing out the eyeball here, those voice tracks are disappearing. And if I want that uh, to be remembered, I can actually save that as a preference by going into this menu here, Track Visibility, and I can save that as Preset 1, and then I can show them all again, and I can save that as Preset 2, just for example, okay? And now to reload any of those presets, you go back to Track Visibility and load Preset 1 or 2, or you can just use the hotkey Shift and 1 and Shift and 2. So when I hit Shift 1, Boom, all my voice tracks have disappeared. Shift two, they're back. One, they've gone. Two, they're back. One, they're gone. This is fantastic. Or shift A uh, should be, or is it shift A? It might be a different one. Let me check. Oh, it's Alt or Option Shift A. Option Shift A will bring everything back. So fantastic hotkey there uh, to toggle tracks on and off. If you just want to see your bus tracks, that's possible too. There we go, two bus tracks that are working in this session. So really, really cool. And on a case-by-case -case basis, I can bring the tracks back or Option slash Alt, Shift and A to bring everything back. So that's the tracks panel in Adobe Audition 11.1. 
you're also able to uh, run and browse, sorry, browse and run scripts natively in the latest version of Adobe Audition. There it is in the file menu, browse and run script. Uh, some stock scripts should be around uh, pretty soon, if not now, for you to try out. I'm still learning my way through scripts. So as I learn more and know more about this exciting new feature, I will be uh, doing some tutorials on my channel. So make sure to subscribe for them. Uh, lots of little under the hood and UI performances, scrolling performances is to make things smoother, uh, which is really good. Um, let me show you another feature. Going back into this Premiere Pro project here, really cool feature. You need to make sure it's enabled in Preferences Video. And if you make sure that Spot Video Frame when adjusting audio clip is ticked, check out what will happen when I start moving audio around. So I move audio and I get this lovely blue line. Can you see the blue line moving? And it's matching with me. Now I'm just going to undo that. Say I wanted to, for instance, go into my media browser and bring in a sound effect. Something like that, and it's just going to be resampled to be uh, the right uh, sample rate for video. And say I wanted to exactly match the boom of that, the boom starts there, that, that big boom, and say I wanted it to match exactly with when I point at the camera, I can now, looking down at the video, see it, see there? I can now, bam, boom, boom, I can even, if I wanted, I could make this even bigger, this video panel, or undock it, so I can, I can, hang on, let me just uh, go down, undock that panel, so I can bring this out, make this nice and big, so I can get a nice, accurate edit, again, right-clicking there at the boom, and finding the point at which I exactly point at the camera, which is there. Drop it, and that is about as precise as you can get. And if I just turn this down a little bit, you'll be able to hear how it works. The so. video with every release. Closer to video with every release. So the boom hitting exactly as I point at the camera. Really, really cool stuff, making it even more intuitive uh, to edit with Adobe Audition. Just going to dock that back in there and show you a couple more features before I finish up here in this exciting uh, tutorial introducing the latest features of Adobe Audition 11.1. Uh, another cool thing, uh, and it's on a hotkey, you can jump to any time in your project. And to do this, you hit Command or Control J, depending if you're Mac and PC, and your time will be highlighted down here so I can change that to be exactly 20 seconds into my project boom and the uh, playhead there nicely jumps to 20 seconds again command or control J and I could say I wanted to jump to two seconds into the project and boom I'm now back at two seconds into the project really really fast way of jumping to time which is fantastic and uh, oh another good thing Usually when you're playing back in the uh, Adobe Audition multi-track, it will scroll. Let's just go to the end here. And Premiere Pro kind of scrolls like that, or you can do smooth scrolling. If you hit the A hotkey, it will stop scroll. 11.1 and Premiere Pro version 12. Let's just hit it while I'm playing back. Here we go. 11.1 and Premiere Pro version 12.1. There we go. See, the scrolling did not occur. So if you hit A while you're playing back, scrolling is automatically disabled. A uh, couple more features that I really want to show you. First of all, uh, clicking at a clip right here at the start of the audio, right clicking, trim. You now have the option to trim to the point in the playhead or put an out point like that. So I can trim in there nicely. I can uh, say if I didn't have this fade, I could click here, uh, right click, trim to the out point, and I can do nice, easy trims as simple as that. That's particularly good if I wanted to trim in there rather than grabbing the handle and pulling it in. I could just simply right click and say trim that to the out point right there. So really, really cool thing. And finally, going back into the Adobe Audition preferences, back into the video now, as you can see, getting much more tightly integrated here with audio and video. Uh, you can adjust full screen settings. So if I wanted to enable full screen, this would put the video I'm editing up on my dual monitor, which is above my head in my workstation. And if I click disable uh, when in the background, that would mean the um, the video screen would switch off. Say if I, um, I did a change over to Premiere Pro, it would disappear. So it just depends on my editing workflow, whether I want those options enabled or not. And as you've seen in a previous version, you do get time code overlay now for video. You can switch it on. Now in video preferences, you can change the size, make it really huge if you uh, really want to see that time code down there in the bottom left. You can also, let me go back into that dialog box again, uh, you can change the positioning, put it on the top, on the left, on the right, in the center, just wherever you want it to be, and it will reference the session or the media as well. So really cool stuff for video editors who want to make their audio sound great in Adobe Audition. So there you go, Adobe Audition 11.1.
Adobe Premiere Pro version 12.1, bringing audio and video closer together.